in Google Docs, you have the ability to use a tool in the tool menu to cite where you're getting information from. Now you can use the MLA, APA, or Chicago. English usually asks you to use MLA, so we are going to add a citation source. And as we're researching today, you'll probably be using more websites than anything else, but you can see there are a plethora of resources for you. So once I choose website, if I go to my Google search and I found videos and things, or, ooh, here we go, I'm going to hold the control key and click on that to open the George W. Bush Presidential Center information in a new tab. So when I find information from here that I want to cite, because I say, wow, this is a great resource, then I just come up here to the URL. I can right click to copy or use the keyboard shortcut control C to copy. Then I come back to my Google Doc and I paste that control V or uh, right click to paste. Then I click the search and Google does this amazing thing where it will find information for you. So it's told me that it found the title, the website title, the URL. It doesn't have the published year. It does have the date accessed and an author. So now I just have to verify and I do that by clicking continue. So it fills in what it already found. And now it's my job to go back to the website and read. Okay, up here I see that it says it's an SI by essay by Sarah Churchwell. So I come back, Sarah Churchwell. Okay, there's no other contributors. If there were, I could click that button um, to add an author, but I'm not going to do that. If you have another contributor who is in corporation or organization, you can tick that box to change that. Um, if you screw up, you just delete, right? Um, next, I check the title, A Brief History of the American Dream. A Brief History of the American Dream. That looks correct to me. Then we have the website title, George W. Bush Presidential Center. If you hover over your tab, it will usually tell you um, exactly what the title is. Sometimes you like to go back and just take a gander. This looks like it's actually the Dub George W. Bush Institute. I don't see anything about a presidential center. So that's interesting. I might actually go ahead and change that to make sure that it is correct. So here we go to change institute. Now to look for a publisher. I don't think I saw any that would likely be at the bottom. Doesn't look like it. We just have our author and her full bio available. Yeah, I don't think we have a publisher, so then I leave that blank. It kept the URL that I gave it before. Ooh, published day. You know, it doesn't have a day it was published, but it has a year and a time period. So let's put in winter instead of a month, 2021. And then I leave the day I accessed it because that is today. So once I click add citation, there we go. So if I were typing sentences, so here I have typing a sentence from the website and I needed to cite that, I can click the magic cite button and it will add the citation that I need. Otherwise, if you're looking for that MLA citation, you can click insert works cited and it's going to insert the entire information you need for the works cited, or I can come over here to just select what I need, control C to copy or right click to copy. And I can again, right click to paste. And it's the same thing. It's just not double spaced. So if you need to cite information, Google Docs has your back. Just go to that tools menu click on citations and that will open this up. Make sure you choose if you want MLA, APA, or Chicago. Click add citation source and we can add as many as we need. So if I have another website, search by URL, you can put it all in there. 
Oh, whoops, that's <laughs> from before. Um, so let's just steal this URL. This isn't gonna work very well. But for all intents and purposes, search, then we click continue. You have to verify this. Once you're done, you click add citation source. So I hope that is helpful. Remember that Google Docs is magical. Let me know if you have any other questions or video suggestions. Thanks for watching.